Lord, I'm Amy Goodman. The White House is embroiled in even more controversy over former Staff Secretary Rob Porter after FBI Director Christopher Wray testified to the Senate that the FBI told the White House about the physical and verbal abuse allegations that were holding up Porter's background check months earlier than the White House has admitted. The FBI submitted uh, a partial report on the investigation in question uh, in March, uh, and then a completed background investigation in late July. That is soon thereafter, we received requests for follow-up uh, inquiry, uh, and we did the follow-up uh, and provided that information in November, uh, and then we administratively closed the file in January. That was FBI Director Christopher Wray. Porter resigned after both of his ex-wives accused him of verbal and physical abuse, and photos were released showing Porter's first wife, Colby Holderness, with a black eye, which she said she suffered after he punched her in the face. The FBI director's testimony further exposes how Trump administration officials allowed Porter to continue working in the White House, despite the serious accusations of domestic violence. In fact, CNN and reports White House officials were considering promoting Porter to deputy chief of staff under General Kelly before the photos were released. President Trump has repeatedly defended Porter, emphasizing Porter claims he's innocent. Trump himself has been accused of sexual harassment or assault by at least 16 women.